Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know this is a funny spot to start my videos. I don't normally do this but I've actually been working on emails this morning and I sat down and wrote out a list of the things I want to get done today. They're kind of random. It's not a like top to bottom clean today. It's just a lot of things here and there which you guys have really seemed to enjoy those style videos where I'm just kind of getting everything done and like you know some recipes, some DIYs, <laughs> just everything all thrown together. It's been a very rainy, dreary, cloudy day here in North Carolina which is very odd. I mean, usually the sun is shining and there's really nice weather. So it's definitely a day where I feel like curling up with some coffee. So we're going to do a little coffee recipe that I've been enjoying lately. Something else I love whenever it's raining outside is that the inside of my house smells really good. And I'm actually out of granola right now. So I thought, why not make a batch of granola so that the house smells like cinnamon. And I have a little bit of cleaning, but I'm kind of just wanting to have everything on a low key today and I'm not in a huge hurry. I have my list to do, but I'm definitely going to just enjoy my day as I go. I'm just closing my blind that's right here. So today's video is sponsored by a brand called Sojo Visions or Soho, depending on how you want to say it. And they sent me these glasses and along with a couple more pair I'm going to show you guys. If you're somebody that works from home like I do and you're in front of a screen, I mean on the days that I'm not filming I'm generally in front of either my phone screen or my computer screen at least eight hours and before I used blue light glasses I definitely would get headaches and things like that if I was staring at a screen a lot my eyes would get really tired so these really do help I even have a few things to actually test out the blue light blocking abilities of these glasses so the name of this pair is impassioned they come in a few different colors but I chose green just for something a little bit different I thought it would be fun just to have a color. And I do think that the green um, goes well with my complexion. I really love these and I've been using them a lot lately. The second pair I chose are something super out of the box, totally different, but I decided I'm going to go ahead and try these out. And I need to mention that the packaging is so professional, very like high end feeling. It just, I love that I can store these in here. This pair is called She Young and and it's a little bit of vintage kind of feel to it. So, <laughs> totally different, I know, but it kind of, I don't know, I like different. It has a tiny bit of a cat eye going on up here and they do come in a few different colors. This color is rose gold. Here is the test card that it comes with and go over, as you can see, the part that the glasses wasn't covering. So, great little test. And these are definitely ones that you can trust. Right, I also got two pairs of shades, which also come in an amazing packaging. These are a little bit vintage looking. Oh, I love them though. They're so cute. And I want to make note so that they feel super sturdy, very, very high quality glasses. The name of this pair is called Moment, and it does come in multiple colors. This is a pair that I knew I would love. I'm an aviators girl all the way and these are so cute. They do come in other colors and the name of these is Galaxy. If you use the code Adeline15, you will get 15% off of your order from Sojo's. So glad I could partner with them on this just because I'm a person that definitely needs blue light glasses and use them every day. So be sure to check out the link in the description box. Before we do anything else, I have to say that rainy days are the best days for a hot drink. So I'm going to make a white peppermint mocha. It's one of my favorite 
favorite all-time favorite drinks that I usually get from the coffee shop but I'm gonna make one here at home so you need some white chocolate chips I just have these ones from chalk zero but another kind that I really like is the bake believe brand from Walmart they're also stevia sweetened white chocolate chip as well besides that you'll need some peppermint oil and then whatever you're gonna sweeten with I really like to use my stevia and then you'll need to have whatever milk you want to use so basically you will see me do this step by step you'll need two mugs because you're gonna heat up your milk before you froth it and the rest you can pretty much watch me put together I started to make my granola and realized that I didn't have any honey since that's what the recipe that I've made before calls for. So I went on the hunt a little bit and I found an amazing recipe. It uses egg whites as you're gonna see here in a second and I highly recommend this recipe. This is what I'm going to be making from now on. I will link it in the description box because obviously it's not my recipe. Someone else came up with it but it makes really crunchy granola and all I did was put my sweetener into my dry ingredients and that's how it got sweetened and this is also very inexpensive to make this way how come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds maybe it's just like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain the sun keeps trying to come out so <laughs> the last time I did an organization video which was not that long ago I'm sure a lot of you saw it I did these labels on these jars and I have a few more things down here that I need to put into jars I've gotten into making some of my own makeup and like starting to do a lot more DIYs which once I have some of that stuff perfected I'll show you guys let me know in the comments if that's an interest of yours is like DIY um, personal care and things like that so anyways and then this is a supplement I take that I found is a lot cheaper to just buy in a big bag and then put in my own capsules so just things that need to go into jars like this I'm going to make some more labels and I'm just gonna show you in basically like as simple as one two three how to make those labels because so many of you ask and it's literally the easiest thing Okay, you could do this on any program that has graphics and stuff on it, but I do use PicMonkey.com. I know some options are free. I don't know which ones are because I do have a membership with them. So all I did is make this little graphic up and I just added these circles and then I added my text in, which you can just click on add text and then went in and changed the lettering from the last time I had done this. Then all you have to do is take your um, sticker paper and print it out and it's literally that easy you can use this paper in any printer and that's it that's all you have to do to make these labels so you wouldn't even have to use the circles you could literally go on your word document or anything like that and just put the lettering where you want it on the piece of paper and then print it on this and just cut them out and use them on whatever you need to use them for this is in my Amazon shop I will link it below as well Pausing on the jars for a second because the granola is done and I am so thrilled with this. Hazley and Kylia are up from their naps and they're both eating a bowl of this right now with some almond milk and they said it is so yummy. It's so much more crunchy than the last recipe I tried. So <laughs> out of the fact of not having honey, I think I just found the perfect recipe plus this is so inexpensive to make. Um, I think I'm going to, I'm gonna put it in here, but I think I'm also going to make a version with like dried, freeze dried strawberries, like trying some other combinations um, to see if we can get some different flavors. So they have options and it makes it more fun when they get to choose the flavor of granola they have in the morning. But I cannot recommend this enough. And like I said, I will link the recipe in the description box. Standing underneath 
beneath the lights Look into each other's eyes My printer ran out of ink just as I was printing these. So the last three labels did not get printed out, which is fine. I'll just do them on the next time I need to print out some labels so that I don't waste sticker paper. Yesterday has gone to sleep. So all that's left is you and me. I can promise you're the only thing I see. I got some comments about the fact that light goes into this cabinet and I do have my things kind of ordered that the things in the front doesn't really matter if they have sunlight hitting them. guys it's the next day and I am about to open up my refrigerator and get it kind of cleaned out I really want to think about what I want to meal plan for next week and so I need to go through the stuff I already have and just need to wipe out the shelves I'm not gonna empty the drawers out they have like just veggies and stuff in them and right now I just don't really feel like I need to do that but I'm trying to get better at making sure that my refrigerator is clean and disinfected all of that so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So <laughs> does anybody else's refrigerator get like this ever? Because things are so messed up and dumped around in here. And I think somebody wanted to save their jello cup for later, including the spoon. The spoon needed to be refrigerated apparently. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to pull everything out and just wipe out the shelves and just kind of reorganize things. I think that needs to be gotten rid of. It's not good anymore and it just straighten stuff up. And other than that, like my cheese is all supposed to go in here, meat in here. I think there's some avocados that probably need to go down in that drawer. Things just kind of got thrown in here the last time I came home with groceries and didn't really get organized. I've mentioned this before, but if you want the recipes for my cleaners, you can go to Adeline's Oily Tribe, that's my Instagram account, where I put a lot of my healthy recipes and things like that for around the home. And I feel good the way we are. Next, I'm going to make up um, some kind of cleaner type stuff here. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I've been slowly transitioning and making a lot of my own cleaners and household products, things like that. So my next ones to make, I've made pretty much all of them, but I wanted to make a linen spray just to like freshen up our mattresses whenever I'm changing the sheets and even to spray on our couches if I need to, um, just to kind of freshen them up. And then 
then the other thing I wanted to make was my own stain remover for just either the carpet or um, laundry stain remover. So before I mix the stuff up, I'm going to put these decals on the glass bottles. I got these from Amazon, the glass bottles, and then the decals are from Bella by Design. She's so awesome. She's a small shop on Etsy, and it's where I like to get my decals. She does a great job, and they are so cute, aren't they? So they're really easy. She like sends instructions. Basically, the first thing you do is peel this clear part off, which it includes the letters. So you just take that part off, and then you lay it on the glass where you want it to be, and you can take like a credit card or something like that and rub it on there. I actually find that it works really good to just take my finger over it and rub it really well, and then you slowly peel the clear part off, and it will leave the lettering on the bottles. So super simple. She also made the ones here. I'll show you under my sink. She made these as well. I um, make my own dish tabs and toilet bombs if you're new around here. And then like, yeah, here's my tub scrub. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the decals first and then mix up the cleaners. remover I am going to use some Norwex laundry detergent which I'll talk about that in a second and then I'm also going to use some lemon essential oil this is a major stain remover it's known for that um, and then also some filtered water and you actually really want to use filtered distilled water when you make your homemade cleaners just so that there isn't any um, chance of anything growing inside your bottle I did not know that until recently so that is a new tip to me as well and um, I've been getting questions about the Norwex laundry detergent so Norwex laundry detergent works amazing and in fact when I was using other stain removers if they didn't work I would just get some of this out put a little bit into like you know a little dish or something and mix it with some water kind of make like a paste out of it and then put it on the whatever I'm trying to get out of the clothing and it works so so good so I already know this is gonna be a really great combination I already know this is gonna work great this bag if you're only watching your Norwex claws this bag lasts forever and ever and ever if you're using it for laundry though you only want to use half of the scoop so I think that's roughly like around a tablespoon or maybe even two tablespoons and um, so I'm gonna actually put an entire scoop into this bottle with water so that it's very like concentrated and really will do well at tap stains and um, when you're washing your Norwex claws though you only need a teaspoon of this cleaner so that's why I'm saying if you're not using it for regular laundry you're only using it for that this will last literally forever next we have the linen spray and I decided to put it into one of my smaller bottles just because um, I probably will make smaller batches of this. So all I'm going to do is put in half of the bottle to be uh, peroxide because I know hydrogen peroxide works really well as a fabric refresher on its own. And then I'm also going to add in some grapefruit and some sandalwood. I love that scent combination. I love sandalwood. It's such a great scent. Um, so yeah, I'll just mix it up real quick and then we can take everything to the laundry room. much for watching today's video I know it was kind of just chill relaxed and we got a few things done but hopefully it motivated you and inspired you today if you're new here I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button joined my channel also don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment below and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day